Hello and welcome Hello. everybody to <laughs> <laughs> to the latest episode of the War of Inheritance. Mm. Uh, as is now tradition, I will give a brief recap and then ask everyone what the most important thing that happened last session was. My brief recap is the party escaped the Corinthian vessel uh, with the assistance of Lady Freya. They, and indeed Horatio the Wizard, played by the lovely Murray, no longer with us, mm. he's still alive, just not here, uh, blew a hole in the side of the boat and fled to the relative safety of a large ogre encampment where they met, befriended and then decrowned Balthazar, the king of the ogres. We did not decrown him. And that the seems like a in the crown reasonable place him. to pick up. Jacob, what was the most important thing that happened last session? Um, I think it's got to have been the discovery of intelligent ogres and then absolutely watching that ruin be ruined. And that really sad bit of ending of mm. Balthazar have for, being forced by the crown to take off the crown when he didn't want to. Politics. Mm. Uh, David. <laughs> David was a chicken for the entirety of last episode. Robert York was a chicken. David may or may not have been a chicken. There's no way to know. Uh, Although current evidence suggests. <laughs> Zoe, what was the most important thing that happened last episode? Uh, Freya clumsily but successfully negotiated peace with a small group of lizard people. Uh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, and it's we true. got one. Oh yeah, yeah, you did. You rolled stupid on a disadvantage again yeah. because you're a monster. Uh, chat <laughs> says you broke the ogre messiah. It's <laughs> what happened last session. Yes. Yes. Uh, Amy, what was the most important thing that happened? Horatio is um, not associated with us. The most important thing that happened last session uh, was that the crown, the helm of. Heimlich. The diadem, the diadem of Zalba. Of Zalba, that so was close. the one. <laughs> Apart from all of it, you would bite. The something of something, that's The correct. diadem of Zalba um, was uh, removed itself, question mark, from Balthazar's head because it recognised kin, question mark, in Horatio, all the question marks. This is great. Something <laughs> happened somewhere. Okay. The intelligent item exerted its force to remove itself from the dumbass. Right. And we're going to leave there. There was a very angry and much less intelligent King Balthazar, who may or may not now be able to pronounce his own name, who was <coughs> extremely angry at the nerdy Horatio, who was backing away and slowly putting on the crown. With a very fast approaching with a fast wood. approaching ogre club, we're going to pick up there. Is anyone yeah. doing any sort of opposed initiative thing to push him out of the way of the club and then uh, try and get him into somewhere safe? You would like to Maybe try and can. salvage Horatio from this situation. So, as a brief recap, uh, you are currently in a valley which is filled with ogre tents and accommodation fit for the ogre population. These ogres, ogres are 8 to 10 feet tall, and there are at least 50 of them around. This camp is under attack, question mark, by the two wizards who you pissed off earlier, mm -hmm. and their guards, who uh, Neve caught, uh, caught wind of and ran back to camp in order to witness the horrible things that happened to Balthazar. So yes, as Balthazar's great club, which is about the same size as Freya, comes swinging in towards Horatio, you can make me a reflex save to try and pull him out of the way. What do we know? Yeah, if we learn a anything... A dexterity saving throw. Ah. If we learn anything from the 16. last time you tried to save anybody is that this can only go poorly for what you're trying to save. Okay, 16. 16 is pretty great. Uh, so I'm going to say that on a 16, you do manage to uh, shove Horatio out of the way, mm -hmm. but in doing so, you are going to take half the damage of the attack that Balthazar okay. was doing. Oh, man. Uh, which is fine. He doesn't hit very hard. He <laughs> All right. Oh, he doesn't if I roll like that. Okay. Uh, can you take me seven points of damage? Uh, is that all? <laughs> yeah, well, I rolled two ones. Uh, and, uh, yeah, you bring up almost instinctively the great sword Shun Sui mm -hmm. in a flash of silver and manage to what deflect... What could possibly go wrong? Manage to deflect most of the strength of the blow. Good, good. You have been working on your defense. Now strike! No striking. Charisma saving throw! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Uh, oh, I that got one. one. <laughs> it was going so well. Start and strong. It so was going going so I refer well. to my previous Start comment. Start as we mean to go oh, on. What do we do after 30 seconds when the plan falls apart? <laughs> um, can you please yeah. attack Balthazar the Ogre King? Yes. <laughs> Is he the only enemy within five foot? Yes. Is Horatio <laughs> an enemy? Uh, mm, good um, question. Hasn't been nineteen. Nineteen hits. How much damage do you do, please? Uh, let's go for. Dave, that's fourteen. Fourteen damage. Okay. Uh, you, and the great sword Shunsui cuts into Balthazar's arm. It goes in about half an inch and then stops. Ogres are pretty thick and durable. And He's Balthazar like looks down. <sighs> and he turns his gaze on you. He looks much more bestial and animalistic now. The light of intelligence behind his eyes has faded. Uh, but he is clearly very unhappy with you. Horatio looks at you. Thanks, he says, and turns and starts to run. I'm going after him. Cool. Okay, at which point I think we are going to go to initiative. This is not going to be done on the grid, but it is definitely going to be a narrative combat scenario. Of course. Yeah. I'm not going first. You're not going first? I'm okay. going first. Are you? Yep. Good. What happens if you roll the one on the initiative? You can't nap it. You, you, can't you die. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get to act in the entire fight. Yeah. Yeah. So York is low. Seven. Seven. That's good. You uh, actually don't get to fight ever so again. Yeah. You just can't roll initiative ever again. Neve, what did you get? <laughs> a four. Uh, I'm going to put you... Well, get a slightly damp 22. Yes, Lofi, ogres are indeed. Oh, that's annoying. Oh. Uh, great. <laughs> so... What? You guys... Really? All of you? Fine. <laughs> uh, Every roll pretty bad. Well, you stole our initiative. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Iris is first to react as the <sighs> brawl kicks off. Right. There are ogres approaching you now. Um, the obvious thing to do... Uh, is disintegrate Horatio. <coughs> right. Well, if only I had disintegration, wouldn't that be good? Um, I am going to ask you, Arcane Sugar Daddy. Twin, oh, well, maybe. <laughs> if only I could. If only. <laughs> Arcs, what do you do? Uh, right. I am going to twin cast suggestion at Horatio yep. and Balthazar with the same instruction stop. Ooh. Wow, okay, so that's is it a wisdom save. Yes, please, from right. each of them. Right. DC 14. Horatio. And that's two of my spell points, so my sorcery points, and a level two spell slot. Okay, so uh, the bad news is Horatio, who is a wizard with a magical wizard yeah, helm, fingers. does yeah. just fine. He yeah, says, our oh, ally. He oh, says, you that, That's not bad news, he's our has ally. He, he's our sorry, has, he put the, has he put the hat on? Yes. Oh, and shit. he says, uh, You're all right. And he keeps running. Balthazar. <clears throat> Stops. Hmm. Hmm. Balthazar puts his club down between his legs <sighs> and breathes deeply at you. His breath stinks. Horatio continuing to run. Uh, Balthazar has stopped. Freya. I'm going after Horatio. Okay, uh, you chase after Horatio. Uh, Horatio is ducking into a tent mm -hmm. and Wait. He's trying to pull out one of his books. You follow him in. Yeah. Ah, oh, right. I've got a plan. Do you? I... <laughs> Are you all right? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, and he's wearing the... He is wearing the... It's not as good as I thought it was then. I'm going to stab him in the chest. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Freya. You're going to stab him in the chest? Yeah. I believe he was on 12 hit points. Uh, he was down 12 hit points. Everybody was down 12 hit points. Two oh, yeah. hits. Uh, 20. That hits. <laughs> is that on the enemy with yes, the Yes, yes, yes. I was not expecting um, it either. Uh, this is a 100% sneak attack. Uh, uh, also gross. Uh, That's the... 19. <laughs> The, the cool. noise is the sound that the uh, addition machine makes as it's coming up to speed. Uh, alas, Horatio, we are the New Year. Yeah. <laughs> That's two for two. <laughs> the two for two for Freya. See, prize. this is what happens when you don't show up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. 
So Freya plants the great sword Shunsui through the chest of Horatio, and it makes a horrible separating squelch as it goes straight through. And Horatio looks at you. But I've I've got the day. And collapses forwards onto you. Uh, he's quite heavy, mm-hmm. uh, and he's going to take your sword about, down. He's thinking about Paul Murray. Mm-hmm. Horatio's, you know, it's a it's a body that's just fallen on you, uh, and the crown is still on the head. Okay. Uh, do I have uh, like some leather or something that I can just scratch, like you pick could... the crown off him with without touching it myself? Uh, you'd have to look for some in the room, but you could do that. So you're looking for that. That's what you're doing. Horatio has been stabbed and is making death. So it turns out that wizards are quite underpowered versus being unexpectedly stabbed in the chest. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I think wizards need a buff. That's actually... (laughs) They need need more stabbed in the chest resistance. Okay, so let's see... How many punk noises do we hear, Josh? Uh, You hear at least one. Uh, uh, You hear two, in fact, is what you hear. Uh, There is a... Punk! Punk! God. And off in the distance, and right by where you are, there are two huge explosions. The leather tents waft in the breeze. <clears throat> Some of them are blown straight down. I will take deck saves from everybody. You are in a tent and do not have to, Freya. Um, but I will take dexterity saving throws from everybody. Oh, I'll get to what happens to you in just a second. I was going to say, because I literally just returned, I believe. That is correct. Sure. You can make me a deck save at disadvantage, because you go... And make, make me the deck save at disadvantage. I mean, I'm still on zero health. That's, are you? Yeah, so I fail it automatically. What's your maximum hit points, please? Uh, well, that's an exciting question, isn't it, Josh? It certainly is. This is literally could be it. Uh, 36, Josh. Oh, you're probably fine. Uh, you say that. I am. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, this is the advantage of being at zero hit points. It literally can't get any worse. Uh, who's uh, made their deck saves? 22. Fine. 21. 21 is fine. Uh, you failed also failed. Saving Great. Throw. So the people who... Uh, you are still on zero hit points, but fail a death, death save for me, Yorg. Yep. Uh, you guys are <laughs> not blown backwards off your feet. And there is a waft of hot air, but you manage to duck down behind a tent as the flames flick past you. Uh, can you each please only take me 16 points of damage? I'm down. Me too. Great. This is going extraordinarily well. Uh, 16 points of damage drops the sorcerer and the druid. Cool. Uh, Yorg is taking death saves. Balthazar's concentration. Balthazar's suggestion spell is it concentration? Um, it is, yes. So I need to take a concentration check. No, because I'm down. No, because so you're down. It's ended. Suggestion so spell is ended. Uh, okay, so let's back to initiative. Well. Neve, can you make me a death save, please? It's really time to roll a twenty. Sixteen. Sixteen. You have passed one death saving throw. Passed three, and you regain consciousness. Your, can you make me a death saving throw, please? Oh, I didn't know that was possible. What did you roll? You can actually roll positives on death saving throws. Oh, I, I you passed, passed one. death save. Lovely. Uh, Iris, can you please make me a death saving throw? <laughs> uh, ten, yes, ten, ten is sufficient. Ten, Great. So, see, the party are down, but they're maybe not out of the fight for good. Maybe. Balthazar Depends goes... whether there's another fight. Oh, no, stop. And starts charging in to... Although he took the full brunt of the damage as well, which he didn't enjoy. Um, Freya, the door of the tent is ripped open, and there's the sound of sundering leather as Balthazar suddenly appears. As he, pulls the, mm. as he pulls the tent apart, you can hear the sound of ogres shouting and there's firing of arrows and battle is being joined in this camp. It is becoming a proper mess. Uh, what do you do? Uh, have I found something that I can hold the freaking diadem with? Sure. You, yeah, like you can take a, a scrap of leather. That's fine, yeah. I'm just going to offer it to Balthazar. Okay. Um, here you go. <coughs> you owe me one. Help my party out, and we'll help you win against these idiots. He can't understand a word you're saying. Uh, where it? Uh, okay, make me a persuasion check with advantage. Yes! Lights, that's fine. Balthazar reaches out, and he grabs the diadem, and he pulls it out of your hands, and he picks it up. And he plants it down over his head and he pulls it down quite hard. You can see it gouge a little bit into him. Could you possibly channel the, the nodding dog from the church lab that's a little harder with that? <sighs> no. And he uh, he goes, 
Oh, I must never let this be taken from me again. And he looks down and he picks up his club and he's going to headshot execute Horatio. Oh, wow. Is what he's going to do. He picks up his club, which looks like a large tree. He raises it above the head of the wizard and he breaks it like an egg. He then turns. What is causing this damage to my people? Speaking of. Speaking of, um, there are, they are not throwing fireballs anymore. The tent is largely on fire. Uh, there are still magical slings and attacks being flung down. Uh, Neek, you make me another death save, please. Uh-huh. Uh, do you add anything? Ten or more. Ten or more, yeah, I'm fine. You have passed a second death save. York. Nope. You have failed a death save. Iris. That's exciting. <laughs> Back where I was. <laughs> so, uh, post lost the time. I pass. You pass. 17. Okay. 17, that's great. Uh, Balthazar turns we to We must you. help each other. What assistance do you require from me, interloper? Uh, I need to Wise protect friend my friends. You. Other than that, I can help you fight whoever it is that's attacking the camera. Well then let's do that, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright, where do you go? Balthazar's uh, going to follow you. I, uh, if I see that people are down, I'm going to go to them and try and help. Okay, closest. Uh, whoever's closest to you, you turn up and you can see that Iris and Neve and Yorg are on the floor. Can I along with who a few worse? other ogres. And there are crossbow bolts flying from, you can see up on the hill, there are uh, several Browter soldiers who are firing down. I assume the ogres will have gotten into them by this point, right? Surely. Uh, we'll, we'll get yeah. there in a second. Balthasar's still right next to me. He is. Can you help me protect these people? Well, if I get them up, they can help too. Great, then do that. All right. Uh, can I tell who's injured the most? Uh, take me a medicine check. Oh, no. Uh, twelve. Twelve. Yorg is the most injured. I'm going to go to Yorg and attempt to do something that might help. Take me a medicine check. <laughs> Not twenty. On a natural Ooh. twenty. That's quite a good time to roll that. Hold on. <laughs> Yo, uh, would you like to spend any hit dice that you have? I really fucking yeah. would. Yeah. Uh, as the Lady Freya kneels down and you blink awake as she is trying to do math to mouth on you and get you back up, basically, because you were no longer breathing. Right, okay. That's fine. So you can just count all that in a second. York sits back up <gasps> and rejoins the fight. There is a doom, 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 doom as an ogre comes running by and you hear... Clarissa shouting, just get me that crown. <sighs> so Freya has done that. Clarissa is doing things. Me, can you make me another death save, please? Mm -hmm. Is it per... Is the 16, I have at save. three successes. Uh, you have part of your knee. Blearily, you wake up. You are on one hit point. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, that is... Uh, but that is your your action is to go. Yep. You you shake your head and get up. Uh, Yorg, you are currently getting up. You are awake. What would you like to do? Uh, can I see Iris on the floor? You can. She is right next to you. Uh, uh, well, this feels like a time for cure wounds. Uh, I'm gonna roll, scrabble across the floor to her, lay my hand on her shoulder. <laughs> Freya, uh, you get Yorg up and you go, oh, and as his vision swims, he crawls across the dirt and slaps his hand onto <laughs> Iris and uh, gives her eight. eight hit points. Iris, you are conscious and up. See, it's fine. Five balls are nothing to worry about. Um, <laughs> slight rules question. Yes. I was exhausted. Yes. I went unconscious. That's I, correct. Do you lose conditions when you're unconscious? Uh, you do not. You need to have a full rest to oh, regain okay. to lose exhaustion. But exhausted. Iris, you are back up and it is you. Good. You can see that there are uh, human troops moving in from two up, different directions. Up. Yep, you stand uh, up. What the craft is going on? The ogres are on our side now. Clarissa's over there somewhere. And there's a bunch of mooks. Uh, mm -hmm. I think the best thing I can do is to... Um, I'm going to bless Balthazar. Right. And Freya. And Yorg. I think the ogres are, are on our side? Yes. Yep. So I'm going to cast Black. Sure! Okay. Not the weirdest thing cast I've heard Cast Black on Balthazar, Yorg, and uh, Freya. Great. Uh, 
You guys feel a shimmering energy around you. The yellow dice. Uh, you can. Mm -hmm. And uh, and Iris has blessed you. You gain a d4 to all your attacks and saves, which Ooh. is going to be useful. Uh, that was a really good Balthazar. thing to do. Thank you, Balthazar. We'll have that. It's Balthazar off. Oh, we must take out the spellcasters. They are the primary threat. Hmm. Jorg's like... <laughs> yes. <laughs> sure. Greetings. You, I hope you are more useful than you were as a chicken. Uh, I don't have any weapons. Uh, you want a knife? There, sure. sure. You have been armed. Yeah. I've done more with less. Uh, ogres, ogres. He's shouting to try and control these ogres, but they have had fireballs thrown at them. There are illusions being used that are no, sending them off in different them, directions. Trained on illusions. They have had some illusion training. <laughs> Let us have a look at this. That's what you do with ogres. Mm -hmm. uh, and these guys are, they've got. Yeah, okay, so not all of the ogres have been totally dispersed. Uh, As the Corinthian wizards are like, oh god! <laughs> okay, yeah, so there are walls of fire that have popped up that are stopping them from going through. And Balthazar says, come on then, look, the wizards are up there, there is the enemy. And then a crossbow bolt thuds into his shoulder. Ugh! He snaps it off and he, he says, right, there are three problems. There are the men on our west flank, the men on our east flank, and the mages to the north. Which will you fight? The mages. The mages. Then I will deal with the humans. And he uh, says, come with me. And he gathers a bunch of ogres and they charge off up the left towards the uh, a hail of crossbow fire. A couple of the ogres go down, but they are going to join combat. They're, 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 they're really going to struggle once they actually get close to the mages. Uh, the mages through the flames and smoke, there's a sort of a parting and you can see Brittany and Clarissa standing there. This is the first time you've got a chance to properly see Brittany. She looks awful. She looks <clears> like <throat> Yorg. Her skin is all cracked and peeled, except that it's had no healing and no time to, uh, to recover. So she's got this kind of blackened, withered arm. And she looks extremely annoyed. She has a bag full of scrolls. Uh, it is... Uh, it's you guys. What do you do? We're out, we're out of initiative. Um, a, I wanted to see if anyone died. Okay. Nobody died, so we're out of initiative. I'm okay. as high as possible. Okay. Just behind tents and try and get as Think close to them as I can. This might be a suitable point to employ the rules to take a short rest and spend hit dice. Probably. Yeah, yeah. If you, uh, that felt like a dramatic scene just then. You yeah, yeah. You, you, you had a, a, a breath. Uh, you were looking at what you were doing. Please spend any hit dice you would like to oh, to recover yeah. any stuff. I would suggest all of them. Yeah. I'm going to, but I've already spent two of them. Well, you That's suck. fine. So in my game, uh, any oh. dramatic moment is sufficient for you guys to yes, spend hit dice and take a short rest. Oh, also, we your short rest a bit. Also, reset your uh, death saves. <laughs> Plus, um, death saves aren't per short rest. No, oh, they're not. No, they're power unconscious. You're okay. Um, uh, yes, which so we said, but they reset when we gain consciousness. Was the point of the thirteen? Great. Um, so, has everybody spent all their hit dice and we're ready to go? Yeah, not very healthy because these wizards are going to open the combat. Hmm. Uh, let's see what we're going to do. Let's go with yeah, that looks fun. Uh, if these two are doing stuff, I will have scattered because at this point they're using AOE spells and I need to be out of AOEs of people. That's fine. Um, yeah. You 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 can see ogres on each flank have charged up on a joining battle. Um, they're ogres and there's lots of them, but they're not trained to fight and they're up against soldiers that in theory are and they have the higher ground and ranged weapons. So it's at the moment it is not looking great for the ogres, but you suspect that's going to change because there's a lot of ogres. Um, are there any ogres on the ground near me? Uh, there's a couple that are down, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll uh, spare the dying on one that I passed. Sweet. Picked an ogre. Yeah. Pick your favourite ogre, Josh. Great, so you guys run over and you... Um, Get people up. Uh, Iris, as you reach him, one of them gets up. Iris! <laughs> that chunk? Uh, no. Oh, crump. 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 Let's go with Crump. That's good. Uh, and if only you haven't murdered your only mage. <laughs> uh, the, yeah, the mages are going to be the decisive influence in this fight. And they are starting now. So, uh, Brittany pulls out a scroll and she starts chanting in high browter. Uh, you understand what she's saying, uh, although this is like math that she's chanting. Oh, and again, as she does, um, she's going much quicker than Horatio did. She's clearly a better wizard. And <laughs> sorry, yeah. Murray. And I would like 
let's go with Neve. Can you please take me a constitution saving throw? 14. Sweet. Um, you feel the pressure on your head and your eyes are being pushed down and then they close and you can't see this, but anybody who's looking at Neve can see a pair of magical sigils fix on her eyes. You are blinded okay. until you can pass a save at the end of your turn. Um, can't see, automatically fails any ability checks that require sight. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage, the creature's attack rolls have That is what has happened. Uh, let's go with Freya, what are you doing? Hiding. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, it's, it's a chaotic battlefield, yeah. there's a lot of dust. You are a skulker, hiding is a thing you I'm can do. I'm going to try and sneak up on them, unless I come across a ranged weapon before I reach them, in which case I'll just try and shoot them. And away you go. Okay. Just straight in my crossbow. Do you have a crossbow? I have one. Iris has all her stuff on her. She's the only one that can you my crossbow. Yeah. Okay, crossbow, hide, marksman. <laughs> yep. Okay, so uh, make me a stealth check to see how well you do. You're gonna succeed, I'm telling you. You uh, just yeah. You, yeah. When you do it on the dice. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. <laughs> yes. Okay. Freya um sneaks by and takes Iris's crossbow, ducking around behind a tent. You can't get very close to them because it is a completely open terrain, but mm -hmm. you can reach the edge of the village. And you lean round behind a fallen ogre, uh, resting your crossbow uh, gently on his arm. Thanks, buddy. Um, Relief, please, would you like to make me an attack check with advantage, because you are... Are you using marksman? Uh, yes, that minus five. I am using, using marksman. marksman. That's fine. With advantage is very cool. So 13. Uh, yes. 13 to hit. 13 in total? Yeah. Uh, ooh, 13 in total. Maybe. Because my marksman is minus five. They are wizards. Um, you're not more than plus five to hit? Mm -hmm. Only on the sword. Oh, oh no, wait, add it, I'm plus six, sorry. Fourteen. Fourteen is sufficient <laughs> to hit. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I do uh, ten oh, which, which one are you shooting, actually? Clarissa or Brittany? Uh, burned up girl or not burned up girl? The one who is burned up Brit turned me into a chicken. She did. <laughs> she did. Several times. Uh, how, much how much damage do you do to her? Um, murder her. Uh, Twenty-five. Uh, yep. Uh, you don't add the d10, it's worth pointing out. So it's only the d8 and the. Yeah, the yeah 25 okay. plus 10 for marksman. Yeah. yeah. Oh, marksman. Okay. Yeah, so, that's a, yeah. yeah that's Sweet. A um, you shoot Brittany. And oh, 29, sorry, I didn't add that. Oh, and uh, the d4 would add to your auto hit as well. So you oh, 29. Yeah, right. All right, hang on. You didn't draw that. Uh, 34. 33, sorry. No, no. That's to so roll to hit, not for damage. Oh, okay. Yeah. You shoot. So you hit, yeah. Um, and the bolt goes. Ding! And you can't quite make it out because, again, you're staring up into the sun. Mm -hmm. But uh, Brittany is, you see her head snap back and she falls to the ground. Neath, you can see again. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> what Good would job. you like to do? Um, I am going. Okay. I'm going uh, to Sounds plant good. myself. <laughs> And my eyes balance. are gonna silver over. When you have We're really getting on my head worth on this animation. <laughs> when you, when, 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 when you when have moonbeam, everything needs looks... to be engulfed in ghostly flames. Very and amazing. I am going to centre a moonbeam down Sweet. on Clarissa. Uh, yeah, okay, that that can just happen. Uh, a beam of silver white moonlight hits this mage who has no idea this is coming. Uh, and takes a, what kind of save is it? Uh, let me just check. She, is, she makes it, whatever it is. Surprise, you swinger. Constitution. Oh, we well, definitely, she, she makes it. We definitely need nice. to explain uh, in character swears, because swinger sounds really weird out of context. Uh, well, come back to the letter, yeah. Stinger. Stinger, sorry. That's right. Um, so... 12, six points of damage. Yes, there we go. Thank okay, you. so she takes six, which is... Uh, she's going to move out of that moonbeam because it's very unpleasant for her. Mm -hmm. uh, it is now. Let's go with Yorg. You're up. Uh, uh, you're up Yorg you. is going to okay. set off at a dead sprint. Um, just, the man's got a knife, and <laughs> that's it. Uh, he's just going to set off at a dead sprint towards uh, Clarissa. Okay. Um, let's have a post initiative checks. Uh, from you and Clarissa. She's in a moonbeam currently. Yeah. That's uh, 15. 15 is pretty great, and it beats her, uh, which is annoying. But there we go. Yes, you reach Clarissa just as she's starting to cast a spell. 
because uh, she's <laughs> backing the fuck out of this moonbeam. Uh, I'm going to stab her. <laughs> okay. Uh, yep. Roll me an attack. A check like to stab her. Uh, this may be oh, a smite, depending no, on what you have. Got the axe. Uh, that's true. Roll me an attack check. With a d4. Uh, plus that's a d4. not going to help with a d4. Uh, it absolutely. Uh, that is six, eight, uh, thirteen. Thirteen. Yep. Is just insufficient. That's fine. Um, the DC for these mages is fourteen. Um, although Brittany's is now much lower because <laughs> <laughs> she is on the floor. Uh, so you swing in towards her with a knife. It's yeah, it's it's very much a sort of a feral lunge kind of thing. Um, she backs up and she just barks a couple of words at you. Uh, yeah, can you please take me a dexterity saving throw? Oh, with dexterity saving. Throw. Yeah, with a plus d four. With plus d four. Do you want to pass? Uh, on a natural 20, I would. Wow, all wow. right. Uh, would, you, would you like to only take seven points of damage? Yeah. You've seen this move before. In fact, she pulls her hands back. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. And you you drop prone just as the flames burst over you. Uh, there is like a flamethrower that comes from her hands. Uh, she shouted the word ignite, and there was a, a roar that swept over Yorg. It casts a flame, uh, casts light all over the valley and everything is tinged red for a moment. You look and you can see just red and black silhouettes of ogres everywhere in the midst of panic, tents falling down. The camp is on fire and you see the line of ogres hit the line of humans and they are, I mean, the humans are starting to drop now. Uh, Iris, you're up. Um, okay, well, let's keep You're, you're not up. prone, you were just, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. Um So... Um, yeah. Where's Clarissa in the initiative track? Because at the moment she's in front of me, but she went just immediately after me. Uh, she did. Clarissa is moving strangely in this initiative. No, that's no, Iris, that's absolutely fine. As long as I, I know uh, what the rules are, I can work yeah. with them. Okay. Uh, I am going to... Uh, uh, so how far away is, is Clarissa from me? From you, uh, 40 feet. Okay, well that's... Useful. Okay, I think just as uh, soon as I've got concentration spells. Oh, at the start of her turn, Fred, she has to make a uh, check. She's in a moonbeam mm -hmm. to take some damage. Didn't you move uh, at the start of the turn. At the start, yeah. the start of your turn. She fails. Amy, please roll me 2d10 and she'll take that much damage. And fall over. Maybe. Six. Okay, no, she's wow. around. Well, 2d10? She's alive. That's all right, but hey, it's, it's all damage. Damage is damage. You're back. You're Iris. Yes, you bitch. Uh, <clears throat> um. Yeah. Get you some like, solid uh, silver D10s. I am going to try and... She's taken some damage from some moonbeams. She really she's has. taken some damage from a yaw. No, she didn't take damage from yaw, but still. Yep. She's taken some damage from moonbeam. I'm going to see if I can put her to sleep. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> go for yeah, it. Gonna... Yeah. Might do. Um, it really good. I need uh, some D8s, please, no. people. D8s? Yes, please. How many hit points are in your? <clears throat> no, I can place it with 90 so I can place it so she's in, he's out. Also 26. Okay. Go for it. I'm pretty sure I have more hit points than her at the moment. I'm on 26. We'll find out. <coughs> I mean, yeah, probably. Go for it. Um, okay, so I need to, uh, that's 14 so far. 14, 24. Am I doing it? 24. 24. Cool. Freya, uh, what are you doing? Uh, if there's another missile there, I'm going to be shooting another arrow. Okay. Um, you take a second, aim, and you launch another arrow at the wizard who has not seen you. You are certain of it. The bolt flies true, but the wizard collapses just before your bolt goes through her head, and she falls to the ground. Congratulations. Yeah. Sleep is a great spell. Uh, <laughs> kill stealing, right there. Yeah. <laughs> not yet. She's not dead. No, she's not dead. She's Apparently not there's dead. an angry paladin standing she over her. She needs to be dead. She has an exceptionally angry paladin standing um, over her. Yeah, since we agrees with you. Quick, finish the job. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Fred charges off the hill with Shun Sui drawn. Um, Balthazar is laying about the soldiers <laughs> who see the wizards go down and their morale breaks like a twig. Mm -hmm. They are turned and they are running. And uh, Balthazar is failing to contain his ogres. They are chasing down the hill after these guys. Uh, what do you guys do? Uh, 
Iris's plan, this might not pan out. Right. Iris's plan in her head is she is going to go and try and spare the dying on both of those two wizards sure. and then give them to Balthazar. Cool. That's Iris's plan. Lovely. So that's what I will be trying to achieve. We are. Okay. Um, but the first person I want to hear from is Neve. Um, is there a water source here? Cold in the water, anything There's like that? There's a well. Uh, amazing. I am going to take some of the water from the well and I am going to firefight with shape water. Yep. Great. Okay. That is a really good use and you will save some of the village. Good choice. Okay, so Neve immediately starts moving the water and splashing it down and putting out the fires yep. that the fireballs caused. Our oh, fireballs are good. Uh, Jorg, you are currently standing over Clarissa. If you would like to execute her now is the time. If that's not your plan, that's fine. She does technically still have 24 hit points. At least. No, that is very correct. Um, fine, but she's you're... also asleep yeah, yeah. and you can execute a sleeping person with no dice. Cool. If you have them incapacitated, you can just kill them. There is like a half second pause. And then Jorg is going to run off into the woods and attempt to spare the dying as many ogres and uh, human soldiery as I can physically get my hands on. Great. Uh, I'm just... Bring, bring it, Freya, bring I'm, it. <laughs> I'm just going to cross off. Uh, I'm going to cross off my healing word because yep. that's definitely going to have been Sweet. used. In which case, if you are trying to save lives, yep. please cross off any remaining spare the dying and your healing words and you will... Uh, and my spells and stuff like that as well. Yeah, I, you know what, I, I'm just going to I'm just gonna cross the line. Fine. If you are yeah. using all of your healing resources, I'm using all of the resources I currently have. how many things that you can heal. Cool. And what you do. This is really interesting, having a hospitier, hospitalier hospitalier. in the party is, uh, yeah, or two, or three, yeah, <laughs> three, and a murder fiend. <laughs> okay, speaking of, well, just somebody's, got, somebody's got to balance out. Coming soon, the rematch that nobody asked for, Freya versus Iris, round two. Uh, round Freya, one. <laughs> round zero. Freya comes charging up the hill, silvered katana drawn, <clears throat> running behind her, looking for all the world like an anime character. Who has studied the <laughs> book of Weeaboo Fighting Magic? <laughs> Weeaboo Fighting Magic! <laughs> Rather than. Okay, right. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> no concentration. I will no. voluntarily succumb to that. <laughs> <laughs> you will voluntarily succumb to that. Uh, I will point out it's only duration a minute. I know it. Oh, I know, no, but it's still long enough. Uh, uh, what's yeah, the but if she gets back Okay, hang on. Sorry. You're not there. You are yeah, so no, not there. I'm so not there. Um, <clears throat> Freya charges up the hill and with her silver katana and iris. Uh, uh, Freya, you fall asleep. You drop and roll back down the hill. Neve, panting, you look around. The village is smouldering but no longer ablaze. And you've helped up a lot of ogres who are uh, really grateful that this has happened, that you've been there. Lots of them are uh, specifically thankful to you that you have you know, saved the village. And. Freya, rolls to your feet. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I'm going to uh, prop Freya up against a tent pole and like, put a blanket oh, around tent. her. And... Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. You say, oh, tent pole. That's, oh. that's sad. <laughs> Uh, no, he's not sad. So, he's fine. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm going to go. <laughs> hopefully, spare the dying on not Clarissa. It may be too late. If it is, that's sad. But I will try. You can spare the dying on Brittany. Uh, okay, you. He, she does have an arrow in her head. Yeah, you reach down and. Uh, uh, okay, so you head over to Brittany and you try and spare the dying on her, please. Um, it just works or it doesn't. Okay, um, so yeah. You... Spare the dying is amazing. It's really good. Uh, she is either on not hit points or she's dead. Uh, Brittany is not dead. Okay. Uh, oh, you have yeah. managed to save her life. Uh, the next thing I'm doing before um, Clarissa wakes Clarissa up, wakes up. is going to be the thing that you get to do before she wakes up. I'm going to set all of their books on fire. Yes. Take all their books, put them in a pile, and um, uh, press the digitation. Ignem is the word you are looking for. Yes. <laughs> My spells. All their books, all their scrolls, everything. Okay. We've, we've still got some of their books, and they've probably got more on the. Do you want to set me an but... investigation check to see if you can get all of it? You're going to set them, obviously, the main yeah. obvious things on fire, but depending on how well you do, it depends on. 
Um, to be get ten. To have anything left. Okay, cool. So you take everything obvious, all their scrolls. They got yeah. a, a bag of scrolls, which Brittany had uh, this one spell book, and you put it in a pile. The pages seem resistant to burn, but they do catch, and the horrible smell of uh, faded must and leather and old dust starts going up, and there's a new fire that has sprung up on the top of the hill. I keep that one. Balthazar comes bounding over. <clears throat> Clarissa wakes up. Okay. Here, Balthazar has not yet got to you. <clears throat> I suggest staying down. I don't need books. <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> <Tell me intimidating. laughs> Such a badass. That feels like advantage as well. <laughs> no? Well, uh, it's a nine. It's not wonderful. Oh. Nine. Uh, nine, okay. Well, she, uh, you can roll with advantage. You've just you kicked her teeth in. Uh, that's good. Fourteen. Fourteen, yeah. Can you be a six? Okay. <laughs> nine was fine. That's... What are you? <laughs> good question. Cool. Uh, Neve Freya has woken up at your feet. How you doing? <laughs> are they good? <laughs> Where are the wizards? I think... Iris is dealing with them. She oh. set fire to all their Somewhere lives. in the woods, Yorg rolls his eyes and doesn't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Yorg, you can start to return. You've expended all your effort and it's time to um, come so back. So it's basically, um, spare the dying is limitless as to how much I can do it. That's fine. You've done uh, it as, as you much get. as them You've done it as much as you yeah. can. Um, there are some dead from this, but you yeah. have saved the vast majority. Because when your immediate reaction is, I go and try and save as much as I can using all my resources, you get to save a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, the soldiers? Uh, most of them are fine. Uh, well, I, I will, know. I will, the, the, I, the soldiers have sustained most of the damage. Interesting. I, I, Who I, I, you prioritize? I was the soldiers or uh, I didn't. Uh, just whoever I got to at the time. Sure. Uh, I will physically interpose myself between any of the ogres who are trying to restart things with the soldiers. Yeah. I'd just be like, stop. They're going, please. And I'm going to turn to the soldiers. Uh, is there anybody there that I recognise? Uh, you, well, you saw some of them at the. Yes, but, uh, they're all Corinthians. So, but uh, is the captain here? And uh, oh, is yeah. uh, Captain Strachan is here? Yes. Uh, is she alive? Uh, she is alive. You saved her. Uh, Again. Captain. <laughs> they could I be. would. <laughs> <laughs> You're not there. There's a free arm. You're not there. <laughs> I advise you to leave. And go back to your camp. There are civilians there that need your defence more than this attack did. Yep. Um, we will be along later for our possessions. That's not a threat. I'm just saying I'm going to come and get my stuff back from where it was taken. I'm not bringing these with me. We're just coming to get our stuff back. Is that acceptable? I just want to go back to Kari. Okay. Can you wait until we get back to get our stuff back? Because there's some stuff there that's basically irreplaceable. We'll wait until sunrise. It's got a weird feeling that's the second. Sure, thank you. <laughs> um, uh, thank you. Thank you. Um, I don't know what is going on, but thank you. I'll tell you what. I'll get back to the boat. We'll have a drink and we'll talk about it. Come on, man. We're going back to the boat. And Captain Strachan rounds up the soldiers, and Balthazar is able to. No good. Uh, on a 17, yeah. Balthazar um, throws a couple of rocks at some of the ogres that then seem to want to let things go. <laughs> so, retreat, man, retreat! But I throw a couple of rocks. Like a large hunk of masonry <laughs> goes past at several hundred meters a second, and there's a sharp crack, and an ogre's like, ow, my head. <laughs> Come, we have vanquished the foe. What a foolish enemy that chose to assault. <laughs> and the ogre goes, yeah. Some of them are limping. Uh, the, the camp has taken serious damage from this. But <laughs> it, it, it was a foolhardy attack. They shouldn't have tried to attack a camp of 50 ogres. They were never going to win. Uh, in fairness, I don't think they knew the exact numbers. They really didn't. They just turned up and started going, fireballs, oh, mistake. <laughs> oh, this, this termite mound is really big, and there are a lot of them. Yeah, that was, that was what happened. Uh, uh, York will. You know what? Uh, I have an image of York coming over the rise, supporting a limping ogre, because I could probably just about do that. Yeah. 
Yeah, I should have taken. I should have taken. It's fine, right? There's an ogre who's uh, lost a leg. Yeah. And you're on one side, and another ogre is on the other, and you're yeah. helping him up the hill. Shiny. Uh, yeah. The, so limping and battered and burned and broken, the camp reassembles. All of the ogres are uncertain. They're kind of looking to Balthazar for how to treat you guys because. You attacked him, question mark, yeah. and brought wizards to the camp, but then helped them fight them. They they can't they don't yeah. know where you stand now. Mm. And so the generosity and charity that you had developed with them has been eroded a bit by the combat that's just occurred. Mm. With these notable exceptions of Yorg, who has saved a whole bunch of ogres, and these ogres have seen you doing this, and Neve, who has gone and helped put the camp out. So you two are on good terms, but you guys are they're treating with suspicion. Except Crump. Mm. Crump loves. Yeah. Crump loves you. Yeah. <laughs> Iris. Yeah, so one of the ogres comes over and says, You friend? And Crump steps in and says, <laughs> Iris friend! And punches the other. <laughs> oh, glorious. Um, I will try and get Balthazar's attention and bring him to these two wizards because they were alive and I think he is the person who should decide their fate. Mmm, yes, this must be dealt with. Oh, and Clarissa looks and starts talking, and he says, no, no talking. <laughs> he, uh, he just hits her on the head <laughs> a couple of times, no, like, like, a, like a really forceful pat, and her, her eyes roll and she collapses. Good. <laughs> I am learning how to deal with wizards. <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry. Your Highness, I'm guessing, from the crown? I would accept. <laughs> Great question. <laughs> Last I remember, I was in the cabin. Where are we? What the fuck happened? Who are these people? These are our friendly ogres. Right, right. <laughs> uh, thank you for assuming we are friendly. That is something which is a state in flux at the moment. We are certainly not yours. <laughs> you're you're, you're <laughs> like... Ogres! Ogres! And he claps his hands loudly and all the ogres look. We must... Uh, we must divide and conquer. There are many things to do. And night is almost upon us. Um, the sun is setting. You are more than welcome to stay the night. There is much to do, much work to be done. Rebuilding, tending to the injured, heavy drinking, and discussions about the future. I would welcome your input with all of these activities. These are friends, and we will not harm them, he says to the ogre camp. The ogres go. Mm. Um, goes, Iris, friend. <laughs> So with a thing, I saw Captain Strachan on the way out. Uh, they're leaving come first light. So is our boat. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I, I don't know about you, but I quite like to go and get Lancelot's axe back because I feel like Lancelot might get upset if I just left it on oh, a Corinthian boat. My going, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it has um, been a pleasure meeting you, Balthazar. <laughs> you are. I did certainly enjoyed saving your entire civilization. <laughs> and I hope we can have friendly relations in the future. Sovereign to sovereign. Um. <laughs> Indeed, Lady Fair of Merrick. Uh, it has not been an entirely pleasurable day. <laughs> your friend. That you came into this camp with. What was his name? Horatio. Horatio. We oh, the guy not, from the cell. We did not realise his intentions. I, I apologise for his actions. You mm. speak the truth. Then all is forgiven. And my previous offer to you still stands. When you decide to move against Garlon, come and I will render the aid that I can. Uh, if you need a safe place for shelter, food, resupply, know that the ogres are a proud and distinguished peoples who will not forget assistance rendered. 
But if you come with wizards to try and remove what is rightfully ours, he says, striking the diadem, then you will be met with all the force and fury that I can muster. Are any of your ogres showing signs of Garland's infection at the moment? Oh, and no! Oh, um, okay. Um, Not okay. yet. Okay. Uh, I use a lot of my uh, power making... Have you got something that can detect... Because you detected it earlier. Have you got <clears throat> the, the, the juice to make that happen again? I did. I was did thinking, you... you saw uh, the elf in the town of the name I've forgotten doing the sigils which Josh. warded Garlon off. Oh, that's true. Could you try and rig some up? Here? I could probably put some wards up if we were going to stay. Or uh, we... it, would, it would take us, what you were doing was repairing a ward that had been cast. It would, right. have, it would take you, would take you could do it. You can ward an area, it will take a month. You have to do it moon to moon oh. is the ritual. It's a druid ritual. It can be done by, you know, this is the kind of thing that you know how to do. It will take a month. Mm. We okay. need to go back to the Corinthian boat. We, we you say our boat is leaving at first light as well. Yeah. Not 24 hours a day. You need to do it for yeah, like yeah. an hour a day. Yeah, but, yeah. But it's Divine sense. Divine sense mm. on Balthazar. Mm. Uh, <laughs> he Manoga. Uh, divine sense detects nothing unusual on Balthazar. Makes sense. Uh, divine sense does it. Does it proc for your axe? I don't think it does. Uh, I don't believe we've ever had that query arise. No, divine sense does not trigger on imbued items. On imbued items. That's absolutely fine. I thought I'd check. Yeah, uh, fine. A quick scan of the camp. Is there anything else around? Uh, looking around, no. Okay, hold the phone. What is Sorry, it? It's okay. So, Iris. Yeah. Hi. Pings in the same way she always Pings did. in the same way. Uh, well, we got a whole bunch oh. of magic books. Oh yeah, you your the your magic source. books. Do has, not... Iris, has Iris always ping whenever I've used it in her? Yes. I don't believe I've ever she... put it pointed at her. Yes, before. she has. Uh, she is right, now. So she now tastes it. slightly. It's interesting. It's like uh, she was mint, and now she's mint chocolate chip. So there's. You <laughs> 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 taste different. What? Uh, knee pings as well. Mm -hmm. And oh, I guess and shins Hazel, pings? And, no, shins uh, and pings. Uh, items do not. Uh, and has always pinged? Need yes. always pinged? Right, okay. Um, Ping in more, though. <laughs> Ping in your womb. Uh, what, what, what? That's very personal. <laughs> Lady Fair. Sovereign to sovereign, I am unused to actions of executive fiat. I would appreciate assistance in. I am asking questions. You and I will have a discussion later. I am. I would like your advice. Yes, I can see what she looks like. <laughs> uh, you... And I am asking her. I would like your advice, Lady Freya. What should I do with those two? With the wizards. I think you have a choice. You kill them, or you release them back to Chorus, and use them to gain good favour with the South as a growing civilization. I don't think useful. they'll be your best sample. They are speaking high brow <laughs> They're speaking high brow Yes. Yes. Oh, that's a shame. Pedant. Um, Interesting. Do you have any use for the body of Horatio? Uh, Once again, sorry, Murray. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ray is <laughs> two for two. <laughs> Hmm. Well then, I shall ponder on this. Thank you. Um. What's your one called? The voice of your head. I've had three at this point. It, I, it's just becoming really disconcertingly normal for me. Yeah, his name is Yorg. I. I don't know what pantheon he's a champion for. Shut up! This one. Um, <laughs> you're starting pantheon singing. Hmm. He's not a traitor. I, the voice who will be silent. There. <laughs> Serenity. 
is called Zauber. Huh. Okay. You definitely know that. I know that one. <laughs> okay. Uh, tell me a history check. Now you're here, you might also know this. Hell yeah, 18. 18? Uh, with uh, no intelligence. Uh, Great. Modifier, but... And an 18, this is the Diadem of Zalba. Yeah. Uh, it is one of, there are five gods in the, in the mm. uh, Browter Pantheon. Yeah. Each of whom had a uh, magical headband or uh, had a piece of magical headwear. Yeah. Um, which were, and the Diadem of Zalba is one of them. They're all thought to be lost except for one, which is the Crown of Craft, which is used to, was used by High King Solomon when he found it to unite the tribes. Is that the female pronoun? Zalba, yes. Female. Uh, well, that's that's just Zalba's diadem right there on an ogre's head. Congratulations. Uh, yes. Is there any other assistance um, that you can render me? Uh, I am a champion of um, Elaine, I suppose. Um, although, I'm very sorry. Uh, I have... Uh, I have talked to Lancelot as well, and Garlon is in my head whether I want him to be or not. But I am not a carrier or infected of his little gift. I understand less than half of that. <laughs> oh, okay. No, shush. <laughs> Zabu understands more. <laughs> um, Much if less. I can, uh, if any of your ogres become infected, if you can find me, I can... Sure. I can before it. We will do our best. Thank you for all your assistance, and no thanks for your part in the destruction of my camp. <laughs> we live as friends. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm slightly worried there might be a, a woo connection. Uh, That's a question. No, no, you're okay. Just, okay. A, just uh, a handshake's not going to... From a it. military perspective, whatever you do with these two, they do know where you are now, so you might want to leave Paris. Hmm. Or not. Either or. I'm just putting... I it will put it into our decision. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Uh, your ogre comes up. Paris! <laughs> uh... Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, Crumb. This... Come again soon. <laughs> we will. <laughs> Reaches down and hugs you. Uh, I duck and put an illusory note there. <laughs> <laughs> and then I hug him. <laughs> <laughs> Hugs are not an illusion. <laughs> dum, dum, I think it's such Balthazar. This is all you're doing. Yes. He is a good ogre. Impressive. And you. Uh, Wait. <laughs> Where is Raspit? Who? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Raspit is a cobble. Yeah, that's right. Who joined our party? And he wanted to learn, and I haven't seen him since the battle. Where is Raspit? Mm, I cannot locate him. I'm going to look for Raspit. That's fine. Take me an investigation check. Can I go in as well? Uh, I'll take whoever's the best at investigation to do the check. Oh, thank you. It's probably me. Right, that's fine. 22. 22 is pretty great. Uh, on a 22, you hunt and you... Cannot find Raspit. But Raspit is, is not in the camp. Okay, but he's not that is a good dead. Yeah. You do not find a corpse. Best okay. Or something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. We, um, where are you guys headed? We should head back to the Corinthian boat and then back to ours. Yep. Yes. Right. Agreed. Double time. Travel safely, friends. And you leave the Ogre camp just as night begins to fall. 
and start to make your way through the woods. We are going to take a short break and we will be right back in 10 minutes. That went about as well as it could have. That's oh! Aside from Irish, aside from Freya momentarily doing what do you mean Freya. Aside from Freya, Freya literally <laughs> saved the whole situation. Freya keeps saving the party again, again and again. But Freya also puts us into terrible peril again and again. Yeah, and again. I did no such thing. When when somebody rescues you from the disaster they manufactured, does it count? I didn't <laughs> manufacture this at all. Yeah, I mean, if you set fire to someone's house and then come and put the fire out and you go, guys, I'm a hero. <laughs> that is how that works. Only if they didn't see you set the fire. Yeah. Well, I mean, Freya's pretty sneaky. I don't know if people see her yeah. in these terrible Low things. Lofi's comment on the uh, Rasput. You've had it for ten minutes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this no. is why we oh. can't have nice things. Chewing on Horatio's remains was one option, apparently. <laughs> Oh. oh, poor Murray. It's right, he'll have to come back with somebody else. Ogre King it could have been a diadem. really, really early TPK, though. Uh, yeah. Ogre King needs diadem happen. string to stop slipping off again, like when Mum tie mittens to coat sleeve. <laughs> yeah, hang on. Well, Freya, this is really interesting. Freya saved the whole civilization, took out the wizard, brought the wizard. <coughs> Turns out the wizard is very stabbing I mean, The surprise filleted bucket, sorry, <laughs> uh, was, uh, was just beautiful. Uh, two for two. The next person who turns up as an NPC, do you, I'll, just, I'll just say, you're taking your life in your own hands here. <laughs> that's, that's very funny. It's interesting because uh, Dan, uh, I worked with, and we were like, oh, okay. And it was actually quite late in the day. I went, all right, let's 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 have you betray the party. That's quite fun to have a bounty hunter. And we, you know, he was always going to do that. And then I was like, okay, well, you can play this character who's going to betray the party. Yes, it's a sudden but inevitable betrayal. But Murray was never, like, I, it, that it was, was entirely never... his call. It was never... Uh, no, no, no. Uh, Murray's character motivations made 100% sense. I do not judge Murray mm -hmm. at all. Uh, I judge Horatio a lot. I don't yeah. judge Murray at yeah. all. Yeah, Horatio was also awesome character. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, oh, I enjoyed it with it. That was good. Uh, wizards. Wizards are fucking cool. Wizards are absurd. Like, That's they so were cool previously. Now they're also, also cool. Uh, I'm going to grab mm. my... Yeah, it was nice right. to see some battle matches. I will... Uh, mm. No, it wasn't. Not from that end. It was really cool. Was that a, was that a, a slight on Iris? <laughs> yes, because you don't see some wizards who are competent. No, it's not. Iris is doing really well. It's nice to see some wizards who curse and do damage doubles mm. rather than force the... This, I think this, this is a much more interesting wizard though. rather than I blow things up, I blow things oh, up, yeah. I blow oh, things okay. up. Mm -hmm. uh, although I will say, um, having seen what the evocation spec wizard's uh, toolbox looks like, uh, it's it's really fun. If you really just want to blow shit up as a wizard, then oh, put it on the lot. There we go. I am now on chat. What is chat saying to us? I, I don't know, because you can't see anything that's come before. Ah. There we go. I'm up. <sighs> I've got according to his banner from Sam G, and that's it. Mm. Oh my god. No, my phone has gone stupid. No! no. <laughs> I had it perfect! There we go. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Much better. Much better. That went really well. I am surprised we made a plan and the dice didn't like destroy that plan. That was pretty much exactly how I was expecting the first two minutes uh, of it to go. My, mm. my my plan was going to be using Minor Illusion to do the voice of Balthazar to command the ogres if we hadn't mm. retrieved the diadem. That is really mm. cool. But it wasn't needed, so. Mm. And I get to be, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I got to be Balthazar. <laughs> oh no. Oh, thank you, Sam G. Yes. Um, we haven't changed the nameplate over for Dave again. So Dave is currently Murray. Oh. Um, ah. Confusing um, for any of you who are new to the stream. <laughs> oh dear. Mm. Lofi says, this part of chat is gassing itself with spray paint fumes. Okay. Sounds good. I, Stay safe. <laughs> <laughs> you always have someone to look after you. Mm. Oh, interesting to know that um, you could ward an area from 
Garlon, oh, could you ward an area from any of these potential powers? Mm, I wonder maybe. if that's a thing. Probably. You just have a big zone of no woob. Mm. A woobless zone? Yeah, the, the, the town of wooblessness. Mm. Mm. Out in the wilderness and just tell them to stay there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello, Murray. No. Oh. Oh, sorry, Murray. Uh, are we? Are we sorry? Are we it's really? not Murray's fault. The moment that character moved over to Josh was when it all went wrong. <laughs> you missed the thick ogres. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think the intelligent ogres was an inspired idea. I'm mm. uh, Murray, did did you get to see what happened to your character? What happened was he, he well, lived he, a full and contented life for the rest of his days. Gave the the thing he bought to Freya after she like, asked really nicely. Uh huh. And then Freya gave him a small house on the edge of Merrick's <laughs> territory. That's what it was. To do crazy experiments mm -hmm. with his little cobbled <laughs> lab assistant. Murray has not seen what happened to his character. Oh. <laughs> Maybe it's best that. Uh, yeah, that's definitely best that way. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> a lovely farm in the country, yes. Yeah, yeah. Did he live as long as he took to Jen up? Um. <laughs> <laughs> That's hard to say. <laughs> yes, because he's still alive. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Like, but just like, just in case, Murray, it might be worth rolling up a new character the yeah. next time that you come and play. You know, just for variety sake. Yeah, yeah, you don't want it to get stale. <laughs> in the bog university, I think a bog university is much cooler than a big university. We're in the right part of the world. Well, it also fits with me. She'd, she'd be in for a bog university. Mm. <laughs> I had so many biscuits. Would you like some custard cream? Ugh, You're no. wanting what, Iris. What's wrong with you? Milk cows. Almonds. <laughs> Murray says he is currently haunting Iris. Why Iris? <laughs> <laughs> it's not Iris. Iris's whole shtick is Iris. not letting people die. It was mm. Iris. It was all Iris's fault. He lured you into a tent and just <laughs> beat your head off. Stabbed you with her newly found enchanted sword. Yeah. Coincident. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> so if you ever did spare the dying. Yes. No, not spare the dying, told the dead. Yes. On certain people in the party. Might Horatio Ooh, make a, a guest appearance? And you know, be like um, the episode's not just Horatio, but also Swift, Murray Captain Simon. Swift. Oh yeah! It's like that scene where Voldemort's wand goes backwards and all the people come out. Yes. Ha! <laughs> Lo-fi says maybe time to roll an ogre monk. You know what? Ah, Crump, play Crump. <laughs> yes, ignore the stab wound. You were killed by dark magic, says Sykes Mackenzie. Oh. <laughs> Half ogre fighter with a spiked chain will go home. Mm. Yes, that's a good question. Um, when, for variety's sake, Murray comes back, what should he play? The banjo. I think... Freya as a character is now generally suspicious of people looking to join the party. Mm. Hasn't gone well two in so a row. Yeah. Mm. Two in a row. So well, which nice brings Tyndall's it. allegiance into question. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. <laughs> he joined the party Tindall's and then he disappeared. Tyndall's an original member of the party. No, he's not. Oh, why never a fighter, low fight?
<laughs> Murray says, you guys should come with a warning. <laughs> no, Ogre Bard. Now that'd be interesting. Crumb sing! <laughs> <laughs> but I'm really interested to see what happens to this society now. Like, mm. as the ogres sort of successively, generation by generation, get better at communicating and, and interacting with mm. the wider world, this could be a really cool thing. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Sykes Mackenzie says, Tyndall is the party leader, right? That's why things are in disarray. No. Disarray. Freya is the reason things disarray. are in disarray. disarray. That's why things are in disarray. I just saved the whole civilization. That's you not did. a disarray. Single handedly. The whole party yeah, single handedly. Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah. Yeah. They had no that's help. That's true. There no. was a moment where all three of us had dropped and Freya was the only person. And we had, and the ogres were against us at that time. Mm -hmm. And you helped bring the party back. Yeah. You turned that around. So I'll be counting on you guys treating me as your lord from now on. Because <laughs> clearly that's what you've done when we saved you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, yes. I started treating you as equals, then that happened. So well, we get to treat you as equals now, then? No, now <laughs> yeah, it's that's... back to being in balance. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the way you want to play it. Spindle's <laughs> wife, holding things together. <laughs> Yes, Lo-Fi says, Simple magic wishes. users can bend reality to their will. Fighters can punch hard. I don't know, there is something wonderful about playing uh, a big stupid fighter. Yeah, a simple character. Right? It's like, it's, there's, it's not, there's so much... Don't have complicated have. thoughts. Yeah. It's, like, it's why the ogres are just great fun. Mm. You choose to take four for intelligence. Mm. I know I rolled a 12, but I'm taking four. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. Can you play a necromancer? Yes. Yes. Yeah, Murray, you should play a necromancer. You know you want to. And you could have an army of undead wizards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Once we're done with them. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Mm. That's quite a fun idea oh, actually, for... I know stuff about the world a... that you guys oh. don't. It's quite a fun well, idea for a character, the though, is of being married to the a GM. necromancer who's going around with the party because they kill lots of stuff and they're feeding his army. <laughs> um, I, I know things about the world that you guys don't because I'm married to the GM. <laughs> oh, no. Um, no I'm, it's all, I guess it's all potential bits mm. and pieces, but there was um, a fun idea for a necromancer, question mark? Although, in um, this part, it wouldn't work, because I keep not killing people. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh. <laughs> Freya's on the... Oh. <laughs> yes, you could play a necromancer, resurrect your old character, and then play your original character. <laughs> I have just walked in on a great sentence. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be better off as a um, cleric for a Murray has but... joined chat. Hello, yeah. Murray! Oh, um, no he... bad things happen. No bad it. things happen Yeah, uh, everything's fine. Uh, Horatio everything's is totally just, fine. just elsewhere. He's just walked outside he's, for a He's moment. gone to the farm. This story is hanging together. Yeah, he's, he's gone to the farm upstate. Everything is uh, no, on the border, borders of Merrick. Uh, you'll have another NPC. It'll be exactly the same. It'll, his name will just be T Turry, and it'll just have a very slightly different coloured coat. <laughs> Lilu, you haven't missed anything. Um, I, I am hyperbolizing. Um, and we've been, dramatic we've been on a break. Um, oh, oh, that. Yeah, they do that. It's frustrating. Right. Yes. I, mean, I, I, I get remember, it. I get it. But I remember the time that you were like, "Wait, did I miss this?" And I was like, I "Yes, know. you were at the wedding. Don't you remember?" And you were like, "Oh my god, I can't believe it." Apparently, I've also spent the entirety of the stream so far as Murray the Wizard. Uh, the last, yeah, yeah. My uh, yeah. my uh, ID tag. I fixed that. I fixed that now. You fix that now. It's fine. I've got spells, right? And I can't hit with a, a melee weapon. I've so basically been a wizard. Yeah. The whole time. <laughs> Sounds about right. Okay, Thanks. and we are back in. The party has made the excellent decision to try and traipse their way through the woods uh, in the dark. Correction, we've made the excellent decision to go and get our gosh darn stuff back. Yeah. Um, Just one thing before we leave. So, uh, in before natural one on your survival check. Um, <laughs> before you leave, uh, yes. Just quick about uh, going to Balthazar. There may be... Would you like us to tell other people about 
this settlement now. They would come and they may bring things for trade. Oh, certainly, I would appreciate it. Okay, so we should tell other settlements right. to come and bring things that. Once, what, what do you need? Uh, cartographers. Mm, <laughs> knowledge. Uh, knowledge. We require. I know a cartographer. Uh, I think we're on <laughs> fine terms. <laughs> um, uh, blacksmiths, primarily. Masons, carpenters, and blacksmiths. I am lacking in construction tools, as you can see by the rudimentary nature of our current dwellings. Uh, Balthazar, it's also worth pointing out that once people know where you are, as well as the upside of people coming to find you, there is also the downside of people coming to find you. I think they can handle themselves. Okay. Uh, we will burn these bridges when we come to them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is a way that saying can be used. Um, farewell, Balthazar. Farewell, and safe travels. You head down through into the woods. It is pretty dark. Uh, you are navigating by moonlight. Uh, can you please roll me? Oh, navigating by moonbeam. Oh, that's 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 <laughs> that's Nee's preferred weapon. Are right? you? Uh, you're leading the group, I imagine. Ah, yes. Give me some guidance. Yeah. Um, I sure. would like to assist. I do have a decent. I am trained in survival. If you're trained in survival, you can absolutely assist. So the assistance that you render will negate the disadvantage that you do okay. for doing this in the dark. So you can roll me a uh, d20 and d4 to survival with guidance. Me? Yeah. Nice. Don't do it. You. Just don't, just don't do it. There we go. Ooh. That is a 23. I'm better in the dark. <laughs> it's, <laughs> the a, it's the moon. It's the moon that's helpful. On a 23. Uh, it is. Wasn't that 23 on the dice? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Plus some. Plus oh, man, yeah. Plus your, <laughs> plus your actual survival. Right. We find the autobahn based <laughs> on the way here. Uh, on a 28, you are... Need you made several mistakes in your way up uh, mm -hmm. because you didn't know the terrain. And you've made some notes and you go, oh, okay, I'm pretty sure that... And you reach out a hand and you stop Freya as she's about to step into a snare. And... Oh, you remember embarrassing. <laughs> you remember that there are Don't tell him. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have that thought. On a twenty-eight, are there any signs of On a twenty-eight? Uh <laughs> you twenty-eight is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. On a well I suppose guidance. On a twenty-eight you, <laughs> you see um coming down out of one of the trees is Raspit. Um Raspit! Uh, are you alright? This is our new friend. Do not think too badly of me. I ran and hid. <laughs> no, no, that's very sensible. Uh, in well your done. situation? Yeah, that seems pretty... R I was the chicken before. He was the chicken before? Yes. York. He got yes. Yes. Mm. I'm not a chicken anymore. Ah! Anyway, I'm come sorry. on, Raspit, carry these books for me. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the tiny cabal, you, you load him on a couple books at least. <laughs> okay, you give him some books. He... Eats them. I will carry these. <laughs> Thanks, that's a bit. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, um, he helps you, and you do not need to fear walking into any more cobalt traps. I am going to take just a moment on the edge of the encampment to uh, put a little druidic message um, saying, there is an ogre camp on the other side here. Um, uh, they will be friendly if you bring them knowledge. Sweet. Okay, so uh, you can see some of the... Uh, moss on the trees grows up and the canopy shifts a little bit and you have left a message in druidic in these woodlands. No wizards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wizards, not bad. wizards beware. Uh, Mr. Minty uh, suggested that uh, Balthazar might see a few embalmers in the future. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yes. What do you Mr. need? Mr. Minty, that's assuming they don't eat what Dark they wizards. As <laughs> many as <laughs> I've been hearing about this necromancy business. Right. And it seems terribly wasteful to let an ogre okay. die and then not do anything so, about it. <laughs> uh, you, with Raspit's assistance, easily manage to make your way through the woods. The night wears on, but... Uh, and you are all starting to feel really tired now, if especially you, Iris. Mm. You have had a... A rough time of it, and you are going to need to bed down and sleep quite soon. And you, you're right, can I? Uh, hanging in there. You are right. Right up top for a bit. I've been a chicken most of the day and been being carried. The least I can do is carry somebody else. I'm okay. Thanks. All right. Uh, you arrive at the Carithian camp. You see that there's a couple of soldiers who 
They look like they raise shit. weapons. They look like they look oh. wrecked. They raise weapons and then they just kind of lower them again. Mm. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Uh, we just to, come to collect our. Come things. to get our stuff back. Can I do a history check and try to remember what the diplomatic situation is between Merrick and Corithia? At the moment, Corith fire. Corith. You <laughs> absolutely between Galatea and Corith. Please roll me a history check. Yes. I really wish there was a culture skill. I really do. Mm. It's called history. Eight. Eight. Okay, on an eight. Uh, what do you know on an eight? All right. So, <laughs> degrading Corith, rapidly. Uh, if you look, this is the world map. Corith, you can see, is uh, shares no borders with Galatea, which is where you hail from. Um, but it, and it is historically an isolationist country. They care about knowledge and research. Mm. Nobody visits Corith really. I mean, they, they do trade with the outside, with the other kingdoms, but they're not a. Uh, they're not well visited. They keep themselves to themselves, and there have been several like squabbles and wars between, for example, the one between Crassos and Galatea has been going on for ages, and Corinth just haven't got involved in that. Metria and Kamaros had a thing as well. They had a fight, and they didn't get involved in that either. They don't really care who's in charge. So long as they get all the fun shiny toys. Sort of, yeah. They're they're neutral. Okay. Is there? They're Switzerland for the political Switzerland. allegiance. Yeah. And all your money. Uh, that's what you know about the one, Nate. There is more to know, but that's fine. And uh, Captain Strachan's put your things in a pile. Okay. We don't know uh, exactly what's yours and what is theirs. Uh, well, uh, I assume the castle, Britain, come oh. Anything shiny? <laughs> Um, this is so above his pay grade. It's it's in a pile. I'll go have a look. Uh, is okay. my axe in there? Uh, is thunder in there? Sorry, rather. <laughs> thunder is the axe I brought with me. So uh, that was more to Josh than me. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, you <laughs> head into the camp. And what you happens can see to the person who picked it up? That you, you head into the camp and you can see <laughs> there is a pile yeah. uh, on the floor of all of your stuff. Your potions are all there, Neve. Uh, Friend, no, your stuff no. is there because you left no. it all on the boat. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, your your, your, your armour is there. Yeah. Uh, and everything you guys had on you is in a pile there. Yeah. Uh, one of your potions has been taken and uh, it, it isn't there. Um, okay. It's been used. Fine. Um, on Brittany. Mm -hmm. Thunder uh, is there, yeah. Uh, Thunder is some distance away from the pile. It has not been moved. Oh, from where it was next to the boat. That is correct. I'm going to walk over and pick it up. You walk over and pick it up. There's a bit of a murmur around the camp. <laughs> we are talking to us. Are we still not on talking terms? Didn't think so. No worries. You gave your word. That's a rough Zelda bomb. <laughs> not yet. Yes. <laughs> He's had a rough night. It's fine. Um, is there anything that's not ours in the pile? Uh, yeah, there's some arcane implements that they, they didn't know whether it belonged to the wizards. They're not wizards. Yeah, they, sure. they, so yeah, there are some, uh, there is a wand in the pile and there are some spell books. Um, I'm going to pick up the wand, which I imagine has high browter written on the side of it. It does. So what is this word? Uh, it's not a word, it is a, you look at it and the wand has a very long complicated math equation on the side of it. Oh, it's, <sighs> really? I would you say that thing. you could find out what things are. Um, sure. You did it on my ah, own. Okay. Yeah, I was, this is the thing I, I do. Um, I uh, just told me what my axe did. Maybe she can do the same with this. Give me 10 minutes. All right. We'll, we'll come to that. Um, because maybe. Um, what? Uh, I'm going to turn to another I assume somebody else tried to pick this, uh, pack the axe up when I was out. I did. So Captain Strachan coming over. And what happens? Um, I couldn't. Oh, you just couldn't pick it up? That's right. Novel. Then Clarissa came, she couldn't take it either, and so we'll, we were told to leave it. Okay. We've left it. I didn't know that it did that. Apparently that's the thing it does. Um, how many did you lose? Enough. Okay. Are you going to be able to get back to... Yeah. Um, okay. Are they coming? The castles? Uh, that's for Balthazar to decide. Who's Balthazar? Yeah. Bear with me when I tell you the Ogre King. Right. Who's very smart. 
Things are changing up north. Yep, that'll be a report to give. Okay, if you want to know more, make sure there are no wizards that send skilled tradesmen and you could open up a dialogue with them. Lovely. I expect I will be in conversation with the Thane when I return to Corinth. They're, they're looking to open trade. Uh, the the ogres, you heard them as well as we did, are speaking. Balthazar as if anything more capable. Sure. Um, I don't know whether the castles are going, those two castles are going to come back to uh, or not. Uh, I don't know. You know what kings are like. Well, I can't wait here forever. Uh, I imagine that Balthazar, if he's going to send them back, will they mail them. <laughs> the castles may find themselves without certain resources that they had. Their spell books are unlikely to be available to them. Oh. Someone said something before about them being a noble. I haven't met you. Yeah? What's that? <laughs> this the is the noble they spoke of. This yes, is Freya. I am the right honourable lady. Did you Freya, attack fifth daughter of the Baron? Yeah. I, did you attack my men? Uh, yes. Why? It was a misunderstanding, and I must apologise deeply for that. Uh, my sword wanted to kill them. <laughs> uh, it's like Captain Strachan takes one step back from you. Speaking as somebody who has. Fig was talking in his head as well. It's not as odd as it sounds. And that's not as odd as it sounds. They're not actually insane. Right. Uh, how familiar are you with the Astalian Pantheon gods? Not at all. Okay, so the axe is Lancelot, uh, the Astalian god of war, apparently, uh, and I got slapped with the uh, stick of Elaine, and I'm apparently one of her champions. Who knew? That's great. That, if know. you know Mina Castle, tell her all of this. Mina. Otherwise, we need to hurry up. We, do. we need to get to our um, Is there anything more that you need? Um, the things in your hold. There are two Destroy of them it. left. There are. Burn them. Okay, so can Shoot you them with arrows. Okay, so can you, can you remember the... I touched your hand and then you went unconscious for a bit? Yes. And waking up and feeling a lot better? I woke up and felt the same. Okay. You were infected with a disease. Yeah, I've been meaning to talk to you about this. Yep. There's the sigil of Elaine branded um, into so Captain that is, Strachan's hand. That is Elaine's symbol. That is a symbol of one of the Astalian gods. Right. Um, I can rid people of this disease because it is a disease of a god called Garlon, who is also an Italian god. Trust me, I'm making this up as I go along. I... I... Who's in charge here? That would be me. Uh, me. Uh, you are... She is, I point to leave. I'll step in front of the... <laughs> <laughs> I think, Iris, in this situation, Freya is in charge. Then, do you have a report? I will be speaking to the Thane... Of Carth. Oh God, maybe I should be in touch. <laughs> uh, just tell him there's a peaceful group of villagers ah, up here. Thane of Miller. Oh, good. And tell her hello. I'll be coming to meet her soon. <laughs> what? What is your I opinion on this. Clarissa um, and Brittany? Okay. Mm, my there is a mm, there is a disease as a noble. Uh, they the time, have conducted themselves dishonourably. Mm. Risk Clarissa and Brittany. Risked a diplomatic incident with a new civilization over a magical trinket that they wanted to acquire. I would expect them to be disciplined harshly if returned to college. Right. Well, uh, I think that will do just fine. Thank you very much. This disease. Yeah. The things in the hold. Yeah. 
had it progressed much further, you would have become like them. And then that disease would have spread to everybody down south. You would be well advised to kill them, burn them and keep an eye on people if they show any sign of this disease. Right. It is magical in nature. We can do this for you if you want. Yeah, get these things off my boat. Okay. Pack up the camp. We're leaving at dawn. Captain Sirakin says, and there's a flurry of movement. Yeah. Uh, um, you are... Is this a thing that can just happen, or would you like us to... Uh, I can shoot this? them with acid bolts. Well, that's fine. You, I, you, you, the, the, you have sufficient yeah. resources to deal with this, um, but let's describe it, because it's... Uh, yeah, you head down into the cells, which is not a nice place to be. It mm. stinks. It's dark. There are... Uh, there is a hole in one of the walls, which is actually mostly patched up now. Um, and you make your way down, further down the cells, and you can see that the large thing... Now you bring light sources with you. Yeah. The large thing that looked like a, a maybe a cow, you can see is an enormous fly of some kind. Could we have a could we have a flitter up to the city? No, you don't need that yet. We don't need that yet. Well, if you look very carefully over Josh's shoulder. Mm. You might be able to see uh, <laughs> things that look a little bit like it. Yes, it is uh, kind of green brown. It is grim. It looks like camouflage almost to the colouring on it. It's mottled what? and it reeks and it has a huge long proboscis that comes out of it and six wings that are currently just gently fluttering. It's asleep at the moment. What in the name of craft is that? Wow. Uh, sorry, hang on a second. Let me redirect that uh, that query. What the heck is this? Ah. <laughs> Isn't it charming? Um, not the word I'd use for it. That's all right. I used it. Very well. Um... I believe it was an ogre once. It was an ogre once? Wow. Who says you can't make ogres fly? Not me. Apparently <laughs> not. You should, uh... Oh, yeah. You won't fall for it, there's no point. <laughs> You're no fun anymore, Yorg. I mean, you can at least try. Why don't you go in the cell with it, Yorg? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, did that work? No, no, I didn't think so. <laughs> All right. Yes, I'm aware. It... We should talk later. It really doesn't have to come down to this. Captain Strachan uh, orders his men to... Uh, uh, sorry, orders her men, thank you, to shoot crossbows through the bars. The thing wakes up but there are i mean it's it's trapped really and there's they fill it full of bolts there's no point there's no point stop no, no there really is we can kill this we can do this more efficiently uh the thing is grinding and flailing around it's got lots of holes in it yeah. and horrible gunk is dripping out of it this increases the risk of infection we can do this better yeah then do I will be uh, yeah even better now it's a bit injured I'll be I'll be gong going off gong, gong, gong. yeah okay so Iris flicks the bars of the cage and there's a dong 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 and the steady shaking the creature is uh, writhing and it's clearly in pain it's horrible proboscis rises up and you can see that there's like a snout that extends out of it and vile gunk that's dripping onto the floor. And it starts to wither, its uh, carapace cracks like the shell of an egg and it withers in on itself until it is just a uh, blade and desiccated skin, like a dried out slug on the floor. The cell is a mess. I assume we can do the same with the other one that's still alive. There was one, there were two. Uh, there was, yeah, there was only one big one and one yeah, that chopped the arms off. Yeah, yeah. That's fine, yeah. You, you purge the boat of Garlon. Boo, you guys. <laughs> All right, okay. Uh, yeah, that has happened. Sweet. Um, is there anything we can do to make sure this gunk doesn't... It's not as if we can just burn it. It's on a boat made of wood. I think the best thing I can do, I'm going to shake water and gather up Don't put gunk. it in the river. Don't put it in the no, river. No, no, inside uh, a water uh, bubble. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Okay. Um, I'm going to need your help. 
Okay. Yeah. Well, that's that's quite. I'll take a sleight of hand check, please. Mm -hmm. It's not super well, easy to do. Mm, magic. No, I think sleight of hand is cool. Just... Nice sleight of hand. There Excellent. it is. Okay. Uh, 14. Great. Sleight of hand doesn't get used enough, and I think it should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. It's it. how good is your mind of it? Yeah, great. Uh, yes. so, uh, what do you get? 14. 14. 14's enough. That's fine. You managed to scrape these things together, and you've got a bubble of gum on gunk surrounded by a thin shell of water. What were you thinking, Iris? Uh, can't acid. Uh, just, we've got a way of getting rid of disease, haven't we? Uh, not Do at the moment. Indeed. Well, oh, if you can do I it. can... Um, what can I do here? I could... Uh, purify food and Won't drink. Won't do it. Won't okay. do it. Um, in which case, I think probably if we acid this water or bottle, fire, we'll uh, fire it. Fill it with acid. Because the, the fire will go out the acid. Well, because it's in water. Yeah. Okay. So I'll be firing some acid bolts in there. Cool. Okay. Yeah. So uh, Iris, you uh, touch the top of the water bubble, and a stream of green filters out and starts to diffuse into the water and it's like a soda stream the stuff comes out of your finger and fills the bubble and it's bright cartoonish green acid is mm -hmm. the kind of color of it and it slowly eats away at the dark rotten mass within until you have a flowing incredibly acidic acid. blob yeah. uh detect poison and disease are you casting a spell uh, -huh. uh does that get off uh, there is no trace left of the essence of Garlon. Right. Spoiler sports. <laughs> says the GM. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I, I think head. that was very yeah. much in my head. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, the point that I know that it's safe, I'm going to dispose of that into the forest. Okay. Uh, you uh, drop melt a hole in the tree's dead. dead. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. You drop, it on, you drop it, it on I'll put it on a bit of um, dead wood. Okay, sure. You put it onto. You find a dead tree. No! Why did you. <laughs> and now the GM has You're shown very funny, that Graham. with preparation we can make a giant bubble of acid yep. on it. So that's, that's, that's definitely a thing to remember in our episode. That's 100% convenient. And we want some energy. traps. <laughs> Boop. Yeah. Right. You guys have capacity for this. Let's go to the boat. Yes, let's. Time is ticking. Um, while you've got the tech poison disease up, you just do a quick scan of everybody else. Uh, not infected, not infected, not infected, not infected. The you crew and all it's, it's 10 minutes and it's... Is it 10 minutes? It is 10 minutes. It is 10 minutes. You're, you're going to... Okay. Well, you cast Tech Poison and Disease on the bubble and then you've gone and dispersed... You've gone cool. and dealt with I, the bubble. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to properly look at this. That's before. correct, yeah. Um, we'll leave you some toys to play with. Well, no, that's... I, you're pretty sure that nobody's been infected, but I mean, there's every chance. Um, on the way home. Captain Strachan... Yes. Have you had any other nobles um, around in this area at all before we arrived? Not that I've seen. We were looking for a friend. I, I asked them when we first got here, actually. Uh, couldn't help you, I'm afraid. All right. Um, safe travels. Um, yep. I am sure Thane of Miller will be very interested in your be, report, my lady. Be watchful for this stuff. It is trying to spread south. That's why it let it. That's why it let you catch it. Right. Have I from the yoga camp? Have I got a reasonable supply of salted fish from the salt fish fest that happened in the session? Or am I running low? <laughs> you have some salted fish. Good. Just checking. Are you going to do anything with it? Not yet. Right. But okay, I just wanted to get some away before I left a place that might have some. Sure. Yes. Uh, um, let's head up the river. You have got all your stuff back. And uh, did anybody take any wand. of the? You t did you take in the wand? Taking the wand? I'll take the wand. Yeah. Was there anything else there? You sort of described the wand, but was there anything else? <laughs> there, was a, there was a wand and books, so and there was books. Some books. We've already got some books. Got and books. Fine. Uh, um, are there any? Uh, uh, John, you could be. I'm gonna there, soak hmm. those books. Are there any books on the Astarian deity panel? Oh yeah. Just not just history books. Books of law. Uh. They might be back up in the library, but they uh, haven't. They pile. haven't been brought no, out. In this pile? No, in no, this okay. pile. Uh, take me an intelligence check. Straight intelligence. Uh, twelve. Twelve. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. Out of twelve, these are these belong to a wizard, yeah. but they clearly don't belong to Clarissa or Brittany. Oh, and they were on this book. 
Uh, they were on this boat. This they're your books. That's not what I'm looking for. No, nope, that's fine. They're your books, Horatio. And we killed you because you deserved it. <laughs> oh, dear. So if you want to take the rest of Horatio's stuff, you can. Freya, um, the NPC killer. That's why they don't know if it belongs to Joshua. who it belongs to. Yeah. Uh, fine, we'll leave it there. Yeah. Um, uh, before we head off, obviously. The, the rest of that stuff we, is not our... So do what fine. you do with it. Um, and they start to pack the camp away. Into the boat. Yeah, you make your way to the boat. Someone roll me a d12. It's me, it's me. Is this a d12? I think this mm-hmm. is a d12. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. Seven. That's fine. Roll a d10 and then we can never have an encounter. <laughs> that, is, <laughs> that is technically correct. On a seven, Raspit leads the way. Hmm. Having not come into the camp because he wasn't interested in doing that, uh, he leads the way along the river and uh, there is another boat. That's our boat. Nice. Mm. In theory. Is it there are. He looks. Theory? It is really dark. Dwarves on board. That sounds like our boat. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go. Uh, I'll, when we get close enough, um, hail the, uh, fuck you, Palamedes. <laughs> <laughs> you hear laughter. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I thought that one might crack you up. <laughs> uh, yes. Good. <laughs> <laughs> the previous owner had a sense of humour, it seems. Um, well, well, bag away. You Don't worry, I rescued see them all. Uh, you, that we is... need to rest and then we're setting off at first light. This is Raspit. He is a friend. Uh, hello there, uh, young master Cabald. Hello. <laughs> uh, is he coming with us? Yes. All right. Um, well... Get off on board. Oh, I'm taking watch, but we'll be moving on pretty soon. Mm. You're going to be all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. I'm going to get him a drink and then go to bed. Okay. A non-alcoholic drink, I assume by that. A caffeinated drink. Depends on what we got. Hot brown morning patient. <laughs> is this the same one that fell asleep last time? It is. I wasn't so tired. Ah, ah, that's totally what we do. What are you doing? Something hot. Okay, fine. Oh, yeah. So you I'm get back home. onto the boat, and it feels feels like you've been off the boat for much longer than you actually have. Yeah, you tread up weeks. the creaky gangplank. Um, uh, the dwarves have taken the time and built a new gangplank. Uh, and you, because you didn't have one. Uh, you tread up the creaky gangplank of your boat, and you immediately retire to your cabins. There's not a great deal of space, but you, I'm in the hole. you've each got a berth. And yeah. Mine's still a bit messed up. Iris, are you going to try and summon Pog tonight? Yeah. Okay, uh, I'll take a uh, constitution saving throw, because you're exhausted. Sure. Nope. You pull out the fish. I'll send that one for the benefit of... Benefit. You go, oh, no. you know what? I'll just do it tomorrow. And you, you don't undress, you don't anything, you just collapse straight down. <laughs> On face full of salted fish. Face full of salted fish, that's fine. Uh, and as you close your eyes to sleep... You see that there are a pair of bright red eyes in the darkness in your mind and a sensation of wings. And you black out and go to sleep. Uh, Neil, are you doing anything before you go to sleep? That's um, probably fine. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Could be fine. I... Hmm. I'm worried for this, this dwarf on guard. Mm-hmm. Um... I am going to uh, get a little square or circle of wood, like a lid or something. Okay. And I'm going to make myself a one-legged stool. Um, and I'm going to come and sit up on deck um, to keep watch. Oh. Because I can't fall asleep on a one-legged stool. That is true. That is that is <laughs> a piece of a piece of wisdom. Because you'll fall off. It's what they do when they're, um, uh, if you're a charcoal burner, you have a one-legged stool. So you can sit back and relax, but you can't fall asleep. Because mm. you just fall over. Because you just fall over. And it's a big part of burning charcoal. The, yes. dwarf, <laughs> the dwarf notices you. Oh, are you, are you taking over? Mm. Yes. All Rest right. Up. Appreciate it. I'll see you later, Neve. See you in the morning. And the dwarf heads down. Uh, and you are going to take watch. You could really do with sleeping, uh, but you're not going to. Nope. That's fine. Uh, Freya, are you doing anything this evening? Uh, I was going to get him a drink, but if he's going to bed... I'm you come back up and you've brought a drink of uh, cider, 
whatever down it into <laughs> my hammock. <laughs> All right. Oh, um, we're going to take a moment to find you. Okay. Um, Freya, you when you broke us out in the hold of the boat. Yeah. Uh, you said I owed you. Um, as if you've not had a lot of companions before, have you? I'm more used to having subordinates. <laughs> I'm not sure that I'm doing it right. You're doing better than some I've met. I know I owe you one. Um, and quite frankly, at this point, I think all of us owe each other one in various forms or another. Don't worry, I appreciate it. Thank you for coming back for us. Okay. Go and bump down the hole. Thank you for coming with me after dinner. Anytime. We owe him one too. Aww, guys. There is, uh, as Freya, you rest your head and you hear, What are you doing? There are no enemies around. It is a perfect time to train. I'm chuck the sword on Charisma save. <laughs> <laughs> <Seven>. <laughs> You go to throw your sword, and you go, oh, and you get out of bed. It throws you out. And you start, oh no, you start walking off the ship, down the gangplank, and off Freya. into the woods. Freya, where are you going? I can't stop. <laughs> Good, let's find something really dangerous. I'm going to tell the last bit that he can have my hammock. Uh, uh. Thank you. Raspin comes and takes your hammock. He unties it. No, Raspin. No, he's untied it. <laughs> Raspin, stop he's, it. He's gone. He's found somewhere else to tie the hammock. Fine. My hammock. <laughs> you gave it to me. It's my hammock. You can, you can have my hammock. Oh, great. Uh, yeah, Raspin has just gone to sleep somewhere. Freya has walked past you down the gangplank and off into the woods. Uh, are you, are you going to be all right? Oh, I don't want to fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Great. Um, Tell the sword that I expect you both back by dawn. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> well, then you'll have to earn it. <laughs> <laughs> Rest is for the strong. Uh, so, uh, I think there is probably... Uh, slightly early, but that's what we're going to do. This is where we're going to leave it for mm. this evening, and we will. Uh, yes. uh, I was, no, cool. That's where we're yeah. going to leave So this, this is where we're going to leave the session this evening, and we will come back next week stronger than ever, able uh, to have long rests for everybody or for some um, people. I assume I we'll get a long rest. We'll we'll deal with all that in the break. Uh, thank when you very much, you everybody, for sticking eyes, with us. I hope yes. you have enjoyed this session. Uh, we certainly have. Okay. And <laughs> uh, if you have, you can catch up with all of the previous episodes on YouTube, link below. You can come and chat to us in the Discord, link below. And you can come and join us live in chat every Thursday at 8 p.m. on twitch.tv forward slash GM. Thank you very much, everybody. And as always, Keep rolling them dice. Bye bye. All right. We are no longer recording. Well, we are still.